All right, I'm going to make the chessboard, and your directions say to start by, it says create two part files of squares that are identical in size for different colored squares of your chessboard. Both of the squares need to be 1.5 inches wide and extruded 0.25. So I'm going to create one of the squares. I'm going to use my rectangle, and it says to make them 1.5, so 1.5. I'm going to hit tab to get to the next white box and type in 1.5 and hit enter. Okay, so there's my square. I'm going to finish my sketch. It says to extrude it 0.25 and hit the green X. Okay, now I need to color this whole square one color, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to go down here to properties. And I'm going to change this to Canary is fine. And now I'm going to go to Save As. And I'm going to find my U drive and my sixth grade inventor. And I'm going to name this my first name, my last name and yellow square and hit save and now I'm going to color this recolor this piece see if I can find a purple here um, make it pink. And I'm going to save this, save as, and instead of yellow, I'm going to name this one pink. And hit save. And your next step says, after creating your two squares, you now begin the process of connecting squares, alternating colors to create your board. This needs to be done in an assembly file. So I'm going to go up here to uh, hit this drop down arrow next to my new sheet and I'm going to go to assembly and just like you place pieces for your Lego now you're going to place these squares so I have to go to my U drive click on sixth grade inventor and open open my pink one first and I'm going to place just a couple of these you don't have to place all of them oops what's that I'm not sure what this is. Oh, there it goes. Okay. And then I'm going to place some of my yellow squares. And when I'm done, I'm just going to hit OK. Now, you can always go back and place more. That's fine. Now I have to get these to stay together. And you can't just put them side by side. That's not how you make them stay together. So we're going to constraint. And we're going to mate. I'm going to mate just edges. Apply. It's okay if they go inside each other. Oops. It's this one. If you want to see what you've done to them already, just click your pieces. Okay. And then I'm going to mate that edge and that edge and hit apply. And now these two pieces stay together. So mate. just mating the very very edge of these pieces so I'll show you one more here so I'm going to mate this edge see how just that edge is white I have to get a yellow piece though to this edge click apply oh I hit cancel sorry mate this edge to this edge Click apply and now click cancel so I can move it because it's stuck inside there. There it is. And you don't want to you want to make sure it's not upside down. So click on this piece that you want, hit the plus next to it, and you can see the two you've done it to, so now it needs to be this side because you want this piece to be next to that piece. 
So you're going to mate this edge to this edge, click apply, cancel, and now they move as one. So you just keep building, alternating your colors. To make your pieces, so that it has to be a new part file, to make your pieces, if you look at the back, the back's a little bit wrong, and I'll show you what's wrong with it. First it says you have to begin, you must to create an L shape and dimension it is shown. The width cannot change. The height can be modified slightly depending on the piece you're making. So we're going to make this one two inches. So a straight line two inches, so type two, press enter. And then you're going to make this a 90 degree angle. You want it to say 90 degrees, and this is going to be 0.5. And that's it. Okay, now this is where you're starting from. You're going to build your piece off of this. You're actually only building half of your piece. So let me show you some shortcuts here. The only place that a line can touch is the very top and the very bottom of this L. Now, if I was to do this, I would make my circle like this. And again, this is it's just a little bit big. Um, but I want to show you some tools that you can use to fix some things. Um, and then you can use an arc if you like. Use a line tool. And then you want to make sure it's connected. You want to make sure it's connected at the bottom and at the top. Now to get rid of these extra lines, if you come up here to the scissors, it's called a trim tool, and you click on the line, it will get a, it will trim everything back to the next line. So we can't have this line that was here. So click that, and now when you're finished, notice I only have one sketch here, all of this is on the same sketch. When you're finished, click finish sketch, hit your home button. You're going to use revolve, and you're going to click that first vertical line that you made. Um, this should, you should click axis here and this should stay say full. Click this first vertical line and it spins it around itself and when you're done you hit OK. Obviously that's not the best piece but um, you can see how the revolve tool works. Okay, If you don't like something just right click on Revolution 1, click Edit Sketch and you can come in here and change something. Maybe you just want this to be a line that goes in and then out, finish your sketch, and it fixed it a little bit. Okay?